This video is going to show you how to finish off our atmospheric mountains with some sort of silhouette in the foreground to give it some figures and some context and some meaning. So here we've got uh, what I imagine would be like a couple, maybe they're campers, maybe they're hiking together and a lovely big sort of tree, pine tree or a cypress tree and they're looking at the view. This one here of the eagle, it's clearly much closer and it looks just like an, a kind of bit of mountain or probably tree and we've got the eagle. Um, and this gives a different feeling and a different mood, like we're up really high and we're really in the wilderness and it's a very uh, different mood, it's quite a, a kind of isolated mood. Um, I couldn't decide either what size to do it. I put it kind of smaller um, and to the right hand side, but control T, I was playing around with it bigger. You know, it could have been that big, but you can see the mountains as well. But that's not a bad thing necessarily. I don't know. I just left it smaller like that. Anyway, so I would like everybody to really think about what figure they want to put in here and what meaning it's going to create or mood as well. So when you go on the internet, you're going to have to think about what image you would like. So I'm going to do um, probably, you don't have to get a silhouette image either. You can just get a photograph. Don't get any cartoons, just get photographs. So, what about one of those deers? Deer. Um, maybe, you know, like with the antler, like, yeah, that's good. Because it's going to be a silhouette, you want it to have a good shape. So, um, when I did the eagle, before, I had to find, there, yeah, see this one, because it was a profile and the shape was really clear. Like this one looks good as a photo, but as a silhouette, it looks like a weird blob. It's not going to translate well. Uh, this one as well, because the head's behind the wing, when you turn that into a silhouette, you're not going to see the shape very clearly so like this one's awesome as a photo but as a silhouette it's just a, a curve so it doesn't necessarily work that one might have worked as well because it's kind of got that silhouette but I wanted the whole body so you really do have to think about the shape like this one wouldn't work because it's got trees in the way and you can't really see the neck anyway I'm going to try this one so right click, copy, control V for Viking. And it's really small because this picture, although not very complicated, is, is 300 resolution, so it's massive. So control T and I want to make this bigger. If it's pixelated, it doesn't really matter because we're not using this photo, we're drawing over it. So I'm going to put this deer in my mind, my deer is standing on my layer six. Probably, probably like there, I guess. Anyway. So um, I'm going to put a layer above it. So layer eight. Um, if you have a stylus, it's going to be easier to trace it. If you don't, you can still try just doing it with your mouse. Photoshop doesn't have a finger touch facility, so you're not going to be able to do that. So paintbrush, going to make it quite small and just start to, oops, I need to match the color of my layer six. If you were going for another layer completely, you just go darker. So uh, I drop that's my darker color. If you're going for another layer in front, so like with this one here, 
layer 9 is another layer in front, you just go a step darker. But because I want my deer to be on my layer 6, I have to match that colour. Okay. So paintbrush. And I'm just tracing the deer's legs. Now the the bottom of the legs doesn't really matter for me because I'm going to overlap that with my mountain layer. Get right up close. When you zoom up, sometimes you have to make your um, brush smaller because the brush size will remain the size it was before you zoomed in. Like I said, there's no, there's not going to be any face in this silhouette. Make sure that you're not tracing on the photo. That's a really easy mistake to make. And remember, when you're tracing, if something looks weird, it doesn't work, you can change it. You don't actually have to keep it exactly the same. If it doesn't work, if it looks like a weird blob, then don't, don't trace that part or trace it differently. So, for example, here, I'm actually just going to go down and then up like that. And I'm going to get my eraser. I just, oops, I erased too much. Well, there we go. Triple minus. So apart from his legs, <laughs> that's my silhouette. I haven't coloured it in yet. Just want to make sure it's the right side position. Oopsies. I use my arrow keys. So make sure to use your arrow keys, make sure you're on the crossbow up here and then you can just move it around. Oh, look at his funny little leg. Oh, I'll have to fix that up. Okay. So I use the paint bucket tool, but the reason I don't like it, see how it makes it really, really pixelated at the edge? So I'm just going to have to colour it in manually, which is really not what I wanted to do. Actually, I can do it once, but you see you get that line, so I'll have to colour in that line manually. And that's because my paintbrush wasn't 100% hardness. It had a soft edge. So when the paint bucket tool tries to colour it in, there's a fogginess that it can't do properly. So... That's the fallout, I suppose. So, oh, I would, I should probably zoom up a little bit more for this. Anyway, I'm going to do that later. Imagine that it's perfect and it's beautiful. So there's my deer. And it's the same colour, even though it's on separate layers, it is the same colour. Control T, do I want it to be bigger? That's not bad. I don't hate that. Or do I want it to be smaller? I also don't hate that. I can't decide. It needs to go further down though. It's, it's hovering over the mountains. Okay. Uh, I like it smaller, but see how the mountain here, layer 5, is sort of in the way? I'm going to maybe bring that up. Yeah, I'll bring that down. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's better. Happy with that. 
Okay, so that's my finished mountain deer artwork. I think it looks really nice. So I'm going to save that. And when you save yours, save it as a JPEG. Save as. Save it as a JPEG. And send me the JPEG to show your work. Okay.